Hi everyone! Today I will explain to you how to start selling with Yakify, a product that you already published on your store with another supplier. Normally when you import a product from the Yakify dashboard on your store, a new page will be created. But here at Yakify we know that when you're already selling a product on your store, you do not want to change the page URL, because you have already invested a lot in the current product page. And for this reason, the normal import method cannot be used in this situation. To help you overcome this issue, we have created the Override tool, and in this video I will explain exactly how to use it. So keep on watching to learn how to connect an existing product page to the Yakify dashboard in just a few easy steps. First of all, you need to find out if Yakify can offer those products and which is the price that we offer it for. So search for your item in our catalog and if you cannot find it there, you can request an instant quotation using our Google Chrome extension. To learn more about how to use our extension, follow the link on the top right corner. Once you have found your product, you can connect the Yakify system to the page that you have already published on your store. To do that, just go on products and select the correct item. You will be redirected to this page, where you can see all the variants that we can source for you. In the blue box on the right, click on Dropshipping. Select all the variants that you want to show on your store and click on Next. In this tab, you will see all the information related to the shipping prices of your product. Click on Next. In this section, you will be able to change the prices of the single variants that will appear in your store. Once everything looks good, click Next. In this last page here, you will be able to change the product name and description if you need to. In the blue box on the right, you can check all the final details and select your store. We will start with a Shopify store. So select your Shopify store and click on Override. You will be redirected to a new page where you will need to copy and paste the exact title that you have given to your item on your Shopify store. Select the correct item and a new section will appear. On the left you will see your existing item, on the center the one you want to override and on the right your override options. Using these options you can decide which information to override on your Shopify store and which ones to leave as they are. Uncheck the override title if you want to keep the Shopify product title. Uncheck the override images if you're happy with the images already present on your store. Uncheck the override description if you want to keep the description as it is. If you decide to leave all these options as selected, everything in your Shopify product page will change, except for the product's URL. In any case, we always override your actual variants with the variants that Yakify can offer and sell. Once everything looks good, click on Override. And that's it. From that moment forward, all the orders for the selected product will appear on your Yakify's dashboard in the Order drop shipping tab. If you have a WooCommerce store and you want to switch from another supplier to Yakify, you do not need to use the Override button. Just import the product on your store and then change the page URL with the correct one. Last but not least, you can decide to do the override manually by simply changing the variant SKU inside the product page on your store. This method is valid for both Shopify and WooCommerce stores. Let's see on Shopify how it works. Visit the Products tab and click on the product you want to import. You will be redirected to a page where you will see all the available variants. Every variant has got a different SKU number. Copy this number and paste it inside the product page on Shopify. You can either create a new variant or simply change one that you already have. Just make sure that the association between variants is correct. This means that the variant on Yakify should correspond to the correct variant on Shopify. For example, L white variant should correspond to L white variant. This is really important or we risk sending to your customers the wrong products. Pretty easy, isn't it? That's our goal, to make your dropshipping life easier. Thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please comment, share and subscribe. See you next time!